This Kind of Funny Plays is brought to you by Verve. Stay tuned to the end to get a free 30-day trial to watch the best channels on Verve, ad-free in HD. What's up, guys? Welcome to Kind of Funny Plays. I'm Tim Geddes. I'm joined by Dan Tangwe, the director of Crash Insane Trilogy over at Vicarious Visions. First off. Hey. Oh, hugs. Thank you. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> the Bandicoot has been saved because of this man. So I don't know if you know my history with Crash Bandicoot at all. I do not, no. Tell oh me. Oh, my God. First off. In love with the Bandicoot. Okay. Always have been since All I right. was a wee All little right. lad. Then I get older, and as time goes on, I'm like, where, where is the Bandicoot? Why, why is he not in my life? Right? Mm -hmm. Every show, time after time, it's PSX, it's E3, all these different shows, we do predictions, and I'm like, the Bandicoot's gonna come out. This, we're, yep. he's gonna be yep. saved. This is gonna happen, and it never, never happens. Right. Until last E3. Until last E3. And I E3. lost my mind. And so here I am. Nice. And I get to play, <laughs> and I'm very excited. How, how do you feel? about being able to bring this back into people's lives? Uh, I am excited. Our team is just incredibly excited. I mean, um, it's an honor, mm -hmm. really, to uh, be able to bring it back for folks. Um, you know, we have a lot of love uh, for Crash Bandicoot at Vicarious Visions. We actually have a bit of a history with it ourselves. Yes. Yeah, uh, we've worked on a number of uh, Crash games in mm -hmm. the past, the post GBA Naughty Dog. GBA games, right? Yeah, we did the GBA games. Um, we also did uh, Crash Nitro Kart, the sequel to uh, Crash Team yeah. Racing. So. Big fan of Crash Team Racing. Big fan <laughs> of Nitro Kart as well. Yeah. But, you know, Crash Team Racing will always have that, that special place in my yeah, heart. Yeah, that's a special place in my heart, too. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So let, let's get right into okay. it. Okay. Let me, can I grab it? All right. Is this, a, yeah. is this a fun thing? Can I get to play? I, I think you can. Just one second, and there we go. Okay. So here we go. Full analog support. Yeah. Big Full fan analog of that. Support. Oh. So. You know, one of the really important things for us. I want to see that death animation. Yeah. And it looks good. It's just capturing the personalities. Mm -hmm. I mean, Crash is full of personality, but, you know, so are the enemies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Nailed the sound effect, man. It's got personality to spare. Yeah, I think Crash has about over 100 death animations in the game. Wow. How many course, was there in the original games? Oh, there was about 100. Okay. Yeah, made our, uh, Animation and uh, VFX teams cringe a little bit, but you know. They gotta do it. Gotta do it. I mean, that's one of the things I noticed the most about the Insane Trilogy is that it's so, it just nailed it. It got everything right, like the music. It's the soundtrack. The sound effects are the sound effects. Like yeah. I like that you captured even the sound of the, the music in the remade version. Mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, no, with that, we uh, actually went back to the original tracks and we were able to extract uh, the rhythm tracks and use that as a guideline and then built, you know, new instrumentation to, you know, give a, a richer, fuller experience. But, yeah, I guess the, uh, everyone's digging the end results, so mm -hmm. it's really exciting. All right, good. Remember that TNT crates are, uh, dangerous. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some people seem to forget that. Yeah. But, I don't remember the super spinning sound, though. Yeah, no, uh, we uh, basically unlocked some of the power moves here Got for Got it, you. okay, that so makes normally, sense. Normally you would have unlocked that for uh, defeating, I don't know, I'm gonna say Entropy, but don't quote me on that. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, but yeah, we wanted you to be able to play around From with the some beginning. of the, yeah. you know, play around with some of the uh, uh, super moves. So, you know, we've got the uh, Death Tornado Spin, we've got Super Body Slam in it. Yeah, you just found it. We got the uh, Fruit Bazooka. Oh, now you can use the... Yeah. You can actually hear I like that. Yeah, yeah, we changed some of the uh, controls a little bit. Uh, just, oh you know, really to kind of cater to a more modern audience who is used to, you know, yeah. playing FPSs and things like that. Very good call. So what's changed in this version of the three games? Well, um, let's see. I mean, let's talk about what hasn't changed, I guess, okay. to start with, is that, like you know, that. for us, you know, it was very important to capture, you know, the original gameplay. And, you know, we kind of define that as, you know, okay, the level layout, mm -hmm. the crates, pretty much the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. And so we actually started with uh, the, um, Original gray meshes from the PS1 game. Sony gave this. The to them. original what? The gray meshes. The um, gray meshes are basically kind of like the the skeletons for the level. Got it. And so uh, 
you know, it's just like you're playing in a, a gray abstract world mm -hmm. at that point, and it's not very detailed, but it gave us kind of a blueprint. And so on top of that blueprint, we were able obviously to layer on top of all the lush art and mm -hmm. audio and all that. Uh, but it also allowed us to actually start remastering the gameplay, specifically handling and moves, because we know now that this jump is this long, then yep. you gotta jump that far. Or, you know, these crates are this high, so we've gotta jump that high. And, you know, with that blueprint, you know, we just got right to work. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that has certainly not changed, uh, but, you know, uh, there are very subtle things that we've done just to, you know... Oh, God. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, those guys, uh, those guys, I think you gotta jump on their heads. Maybe a double jump and do it. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. So, um... Alright. So we're remastering the, uh, uh, jump and moves and things like that, and, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, that honestly took a while. That took us pretty much the entire development of the project to really nail down. Because we do it for one game, but then there are subtle differences yeah. in each of the games. So, you know, uh, we had a team of designers and animators assigned specifically just for working on Crash through the entire project. Awesome. And it's like, yep, you gotta work on Jump Again, guys. <laughs> I'm sure they were but, thrilled. Oh, they were actually thrilled, though, you know. Well, I mean, I'm sure that people are going to appreciate that, you know? It's those little things that really yeah. define Absolutely. what these games mean Absolutely. to Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, it's got to look great mm -hmm. because the original one, you know, back in the day was one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 1. Oh, yeah. So we had to make sure this looked great. Um, it's got to feel right. And, you know, uh, especially, yeah, uh, given that, you know, now gamers use analog controls, it, it's it's a little bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, because analog really wasn't introduced at the beginning. Yeah. Um, that was introduced, uh, I think, in the second game. Yep. And so now, you know, we've got to make sure that, you know, a game that was originally designed for, you know, the D-pad, mm -hmm. you know, actually works well with analog too. And that's been a bit of a challenge as well. Yeah. So where, where are we going next? Uh, so we are going to go check out either Gone Tomorrow or Orange Asphalt, Motorcycle or Future. What do you think? Let's do motorcycle first. Okay. Switched up a bit. Because you know, Crash Warped, a lot of vehicle levels. Absolutely, yeah. No, um, that's really where they went all in on vehicles. Um, let's see, is it this one? Yeah, it is yeah. this one. So there you go. My favorite uh, Crash theme is the Warped theme. Nice. Yeah, it, it actually, uh, I think, uh, you know, got stuck in our heads this past week. We've just been whistling yep. it. Yep, yep. Non-stop at this point. But, um, my God. Yeah, all in on vehicles. I mean, we've got motorcycles, jet skis, scuba gear, airplanes, yep. the whole the whole bit. So, oh, my God. Uh, this is like, oh, no. Yeah. This is yeah, so those, funny. This brings me back. Oh, shit. I can't. Here's Blair. I mean, this is just. So, yeah. So, this, what are the controls on this again? Uh, these controls are pretty straightforward. You've got gas, brake, and turning. Uh, and then it'll automatically drift a little bit, right. uh, depending on how you turn. You know, I've been Mario Karting it up recently, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little simpler than a... Oh, God. Whoa! Oh, God. That's all right, Aku will help you out. Sending so that Tokyo Drift there. But, uh, yep, these are a, a great uh, kind of novelty. Yeah, uh, novelty is a good way to put yeah, it. To, uh, <laughs> you know, break up the on-foot gameplay. And you just got to get first to earn the crystal and move on. Oh, God. Um, but still, they're a lot of fun. I remember this was the, the demo for the game. I mean, my boy Kevin would play that over and over and over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another thing we're pretty excited about that's in this level and a whole bunch of other levels is uh, time trial. Mm -hmm. Now, that was something that was uh, introduced in the third game, uh, but we decided that, well, we're making it for one. Might as well. Making it for oh all three. Oh my god. So now all three games. You gotta try this, Kevin. Yeah, now all three games have time trials, which you know we're pretty excited about. Yeah. Oh no. Whoop. Let's see, this is this is not good. Alright. See if we can gain back some ground. Dude, it's this turns. <laughs> yeah, I imagine those cops aren't helping matters mm -hmm. any either. So, uh, 
see what else can we talk about. Um, which of the three is your favorite game? Which of the three is my favorite? Uh, I actually like the third one the best, uh, but that's actually the one I, I also started playing with. Mm. Um, I came to the series a little bit late. Um, actually started uh, working on video games right around the time that these came out. Yep. So for me, it was kind of like an inspiration to see what could be done, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, you know console games. So. Let's see that one again. I want I want you to do it. Oh, you want so me to do it? So it's not like right. amateur hour over here. Amateur hour. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, hopefully, I am not also amateur hour. Okay. At this point. We'll, have we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So when it comes to the, the platinums and the trophies mm -hmm. for this game, mm -hmm. how's that going to work? All right. So uh, full trophy support, as you might expect, and we got permission from Sony to have one platinum for each of the games. Woo wee! So there you go. All you guys who like. Uh, you know, getting trophies out there, there's mm -hmm. gonna be a lot of a lot of good ones to pick up. Oh, this is my start. That's okay. Happens to all of us, yeah. you know, it's fine. It's been. I feel like even though this is my favorite and it's the one that I played the most when I was younger, mm -hmm. I don't think I've replayed Warp since I was a little kid. Yeah. Like I, I replayed one recently. I beat one for the oh, first wow. time. Well, congratulations. Like two years on ago. That. Yeah. That one's hard. Yep. It's really damn hard. But I beat two a bazillion times and I replay that one often. Mm -hmm. but I don't know why. I just haven't went back to this. So I've, I've been waiting for for this version. Oh, good. It's not super easy. I'm just letting everyone oh, know. Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, no. <laughs> Crashes, still a challenging game. You know, we wanted to make sure that we uh, preserve that challenge for folks. Well, because you'd imagine too, especially with the vehicle levels, like, they, it'd be a little harder to modernize this without totally changing what it is. Yeah, yeah, no, we actually, we thought about really upgrading the motorcycle handling and we said, no, it, it, it's, this has to feel it's a little the bit charm old school. Of yeah. it. But that's why I, I worry that a warp's not going to hold up as well as the as two, because it has so many vehicle levels. Because I remember even back in the day, the um, jet ski levels being very difficult. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're ah. so close. Oh, are you gonna do it? Oh, oh no! Oh, Hang my head in shame. Oh man, right. hey, well, you shamed me, so <laughs> that's fine. And so we got one more, right? One more level. Okay. And that's gone tomorrow. That's one of the, the last levels in uh, Warp, so that one's also gonna be challenging. Let's but, get it. But, yeah. I was telling you earlier, I can't wait for the Great Wall of China level mm, from the yep, Tiger. Yep. That one knew what's up. Yeah, no, people have a lot of, lot of fun on that level. Yeah, we'll be showing that off at E3, I think. So. There you go. Yeah. This game's coming out my birthday. Really? June 30th. Wow. Don't know if you know, but uh, yeah. That is a fantastic coincidence. <laughs> Actually, we did it just for you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you got burnt there. Okay. Yeah, that was bad. See, I'm all off with the, me the mechanics. I've been playing so much Crash 1 without all the slides and all the craziness. So this is another level that we like a lot. Uh, we wanted to show it off just because, you know, it really shows kind of the, the breadth yeah. of uh, environments that Crash 3 had, you know. Uh, and I think the artist, you know, needed a break from making jungles and ruins all the time. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, this one's pretty exciting. Everyone's uh, certainly proud of it and definitely shows off a lot of, uh, you know, of the, it's got a gym path, it's got the bonus rounds, it's got a little bit of everything. Try to get to that checkpoint, you know? Yep. Sometimes sacrifices must be made. 
It's going a little too early. Let's get yeah. a little hasty yeah. on yeah. that. There we go. You got him. Yeah, no, this one's a bit tricky once you start adding the uh, conveyors in there. Makes the timing a little more difficult. What's your favorite boss fight? Favorite boss fight? I think I'd have to actually pick the Dingo Dial fight oh, in yeah. Crash 3. There's just something about it that I, you know, mechanically it's a lot of fun, but then also you just get the fact that the Penguin gets his revenge at the end. Oh yeah. I always thought that was fun. I liked the, the tiny fight in 3 oh, a lot. Yeah. 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 And then Ripper yeah, Roo just in general, mm -hmm. my favorite boss. So. Here's another good example of uh, you know, uh, the links we did. Uh, we actually didn't support reflections in our engine originally. And then we said, well, geez, you know, the original games did it 20 years ago. Yeah, we're gonna have to do gotta it. step it up, so, man. So let's step it up indeed. And yeah, we got reflections into the game. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty neat. So yeah. Those are a little dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's Kevin, you, Kevin told me to slide yeah. and I listened to him. That's what you get for listening to the peanut gallery, yeah. Oh, man. But, uh... <laughs> that's one of the great things about this game, though, is I think, uh, you know, given how difficult it is, it does kind of, uh, Invoke a little bit of that trial couch, and error. Let's go back. And error, and little couch co op, you know, a little trash talking. Yep. It's nice. Oh, we're getting cute over here. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I, I always like the little... Oh, the, the splat. There you go. I don't so, like this guy. I don't yeah. like this guy one bit. <laughs> so I know folks have seen it before, but uh, I got to call out the fur again, too. That was oh, something yeah. else we added. It's uh, in, on PlayStation 4. It's in Fur K. Yep, Fur K. Yeah, I'm a big fan <laughs> of that. But uh, yeah, no, we were we were building the model, and I don't know. Oh God! How many revisions we did of him? But it, uh, what was that? What? Oh, I think it has a little flame ring around the edge. Dumb flame rings. Yeah. But uh, you know, we we had him without fur, and we were like, yeah, he, he's just missing something. Yeah. Just missing something. It's a little bit of that attitude. Yeah. So we uh, wrote a fur shader specifically for the game, <laughs> just for Crash. Good. And then, of course, you know, once you give the team a, a tool, they're like, hey, can we use fur elsewhere? We're like, sure. How about Next just for bosses? Just Tiny for bosses. Tiny gets fur. Ripper yeah. gets fur. Next thing yeah. you know, everyone gets fur. Yeah, everyone gets fur. God. You give a mouse a cookie. Yeah. And then uh, they're like, well, we could use the fur to make feathers, too. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> so all the birds have feathers, which are based on fur. It's just, it's quite possibly the furriest game I've worked on. Oh, so. okay. So... What you're telling me is like, when people have good ideas to add things to the game, you add them. Yeah. yeah. So like, if you wanted to add Crash Team Racing to this, you would <laughs> tell me that... It's a good idea. It is a good idea. How good of an idea. All right, let's see. Oh, God. I was getting distracted by being an asshole. <laughs> Damn it, I was trying to get over it. Was that it? Oh no. Stop leaving crazy. I'm <laughs> Well, somebody's a completionist. Yep.
Oh, it looks like you're getting in the zone, huh? Getting in the zone. I'm not going on it. I'm that thing there this time. Unless I have to. Is that the Ooh. rest of the level? That green thing? Or can I go that? To you, right? you can keep going. Okay, right. cool. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Green gym path option. I'm not liking this. Well, you can always take out the fruit bazooka if there you need to. Oh, you're right. But that's, you know. That's cheating. I'm gonna do it here anyway. All right. So. I wouldn't shoot that one, though. This guy? Oh, you can shoot that guy. Just, I wouldn't shoot Don't your crate. Don't shoot them. Unless you super jump over, but. Time is him. Yeah. What? What, does he need another one now? There you go. It's jump stressed me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even now they stress me out a bit. Yeah. Um, that is probably yeah. the highest compliment yeah. you can get, and is that it looks like yeah. you remember it. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, that is by far the best praise we can get, because uh, that's really what we were striving for. Want to hit people right in that uh, nostalgia. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> it's like somebody else wants to get their hands on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> My entire life, Kevin's been there trying to play Crash when I'm playing Crash. It was Mike, it was Mike. Right. There you go. There we go. And that. Woo. There we Let's go. That. Crash warped. I'm not sweating. It's all good. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's cool. Oh my god. Well, thank you so much for, you welcome. for bringing this here. Yeah. We're only a month away. Yeah. From everyone being able to play this as much as they want. Yeah. I get to play my channel level, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Are you oh, stoked? How stoked are you? I am are stoked. You? I'm incredibly stoked to have everyone get a, a chance to play this again. I mean, we want, you know, everyone to love a Crash as much as uh, we do, I guess, mm -hmm. so. You know. Awesome. Yeah. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Until next time, Sky Funny Plays. All right. Verve, made by the team over at Crunchyroll, is your home to your favorite channels that give all of us a chance to discover more content from creators we all know and love and support their newest creations. From Crunchyroll to Funimation to Rooster Teeth to CISO to Cartoon Hangover, there's so much premium awesome content you can get on Verve. You can watch Attack on Titan subbed on Crunchyroll or dubbed on Funimation. You can watch Ruby, Day 5, and all of Rooster Teeth's podcasts early. And the McElroy Brothers, My Brother, My Brother and Me, which is some of my favorite internet content of all time. Verve is available on desktop, mobile, Roku, PlayStation, Xbox, pretty much everywhere. You can get a free 30-day trial of the Verve Combo Pack by going to verve.co slash kindoffunny. That's V-R-V dot co slash kindoffunny. Or by clicking on the link in the description to watch the best channels on Verve ad-free in HD. Get hyped.